your side forecast with Rachel Garceau. 647 right now on your Wednesday morning. So here we go again. Hope you had a nice break from shoveling your driveway. Hope your back is back in order because it looks like we're going to have to do it again today. Mike has been keeping up with me on Facebook from Wilder. This is a snow accumulation though. Granted, this picture is about an hour and 20 minutes old, but you can see already enough there in Wilder to make footprints in. And we've been hearing about some freezing rain, possibly in Nampa. We've been getting lots of reports of snowfall in areas like Fruitland, uh, Ontario as well has seen some accumulation already this morning. We're not seeing anything here at the village at Meridian where to the temperature at least in Boise is at 12. So definitely cold enough to warrant snow. And I want to remind you again for anyone who has plans on heading through eastern Oregon today, it is a mess there. So from Pendleton uh, to between Pendleton and LeGrand all the way through Ontario, it is shut down. The interstate is so you'll have to find alternate routes this morning or just wait it out. LeGrand looks like we're clearing up just a little bit, but the whole entire corridor here through the Ontario area area has seen heavy snow, has seen freezing rain. There's black ice in play. Even blizzard like conditions were expected in the Legrand area today. So just a mess and it's coming our way. So here's the Treasure Valley this morning. Boise is going to start seeing snow any minute if you haven't already. If you're living in the Boise area, moving now towards Grandview Mountain Home, Glens Ferry will start seeing snow very soon. Temperatures are just warm enough in some parts of Owyhee County south of the Marsing area to warrant a little bit of rain snow mix and some freezing rain. Same story possibly in the Marsing area and up into Nampa again I had a report of some freezing rain in the Nampa area as well but temperatures are definitely cold enough to warrant snow we're seeing heavy snow still in Ontario and Fruitland Weezer Payette New Plymouth most of the places where schools are closed for the day and rightfully so for uh, the snow and ice falling on top of what's already out there will create some very tricky driving conditions today and this is a very wet system it's going to be a two-day event bringing a lot of moisture to the west coast a lot for us as well so winter weather advisory in place for the Boise area east into Mountain Home where it turns back into a winter storm warning and then the white area a winter storm warning. That's a step up from this winter weather advisory a little more severe for Caldwell area Canyon County the west end of the valley all the way to the west central mountains and into eastern Oregon. So temperatures are going to be a big part of what happens today. It's 10 in Ontario right now 12 in Boise this morning but look at these highs just above freezing for Boise 21 expected in Ontario and 30 for Mountain Home at the freezing mark for Twin Falls. So that west end of the valley is going to get hit with much more snow by the time this system is all over and done with because the air there is just that much colder. It'll take that much longer for the warmer air that's coming in to kind of scour it out. So we could see six to 10 inches by tomorrow in the Ontario area, two to four for Boise, about four to eight for the areas in between like Nampa and Caldwell, uh, four to six for the Stanley area. The mountains are loving this six to 10 inches possible in McCall by this time this storm is done and future cast shows we should see some rainfall here in Boise by the this evening. So let's look ahead to the more evening commute time. We expect rain as those temperatures get just above that freezing mark, but likely that we'll see freezing rain accumulate in the Ontario area on top of that snow that is falling today up to a quarter inch of ice is possible as that, um, uh, that warmer air falls onto those frozen surfaces that we have here uh, down on the ground and the rain will continue and the snow will continue through tomorrow morning. Then it all starts melting away. So by Friday and into Saturday, we get a bit of a break. We'll dry out a little bit. Temperatures will stay relatively normal, much warmer than we've been anyway, until another round moves back in briefly on Sunday. Here's our high temperatures for this afternoon. What a difference. 21 for Ontario, 30 though in CUNA. 31 for Mountain Home, 33 in Boise. Boise Mountains will see several inches of snow today with highs around 31 for Idaho City, up near 30 for McCall, Donnelly, and Cascade this afternoon with 4 to 9 inches possible today. That doesn't take into account tonight or tomorrow where we'll see more pile up in the mountains. But by tomorrow here in the valley, temperatures again will be warm enough. We'll warrant a mix of rain and snow for most spots tomorrow. Then we dry up come Friday and temperatures hover in the mid-30s through the end of the weekend.